Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions. He is your Chase character for the May throwback month-long contest, and first version ever, we are getting Tatanka. Uh, not Tatanka, as I said earlier on the blog, my bad dog. Um, loosely translated means buffalo so it's no surprise that this proud native american superstar was a powerful force in the ring a native of north carolina's lumbee tribe he joined wwe beginning an undefeated streak that lasted nearly two years he is a new gen acrobat so if you don't have uh snoop doggy dog swag um this is going to be the person to chase if anything for a completionist um, achievement here. Trainer ability at 26k. Yellow moves with two more move points. Yellow submissions do 100% more damage per turn. They have been really loving the yellow 2MP trainers as of late. Link's million dollar corporation receives 60% less damage from green gems. New gen gems do 10% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. A couple different builds we're going to take a look at today. The first is available at 3-star. We have the Finisher, which is End of the Trail, 10 MP. That name is very questionable these days. Uh, deal 169,667 damage and choose a 3x7 area to swap into Red Tams. Red 2, the Neckbreaker, 5 MP. Deal 101,208 damage and choose one row to make into one turn countdown gems. That will deal 51,813 damage and make four random gems into multiply gems of strength five. And red one is a power slam, seven MP. Deal 115,581 damage and choose five gems to make into blue gems. Entourage for this, we're going with Butch for red MP. Uh, Trick Lacey for two blue and one red. My tour perks are plus one MP, so not quite turn one without the extra MP trainer. Zombie Dominic for three more blue gems. Hall of Fame Snoop for red and blue gem damage. If you have Memrock, by all means, use Memrock for that extra multi-strength. Using a standard set of Fury 2s. I'm not using a plate. I tested this build a ton uh, before reco recording, I really wanted the Hogan plate to work, uh, but five-star opponents make that very hard to trigger. Uh, you could do a two-words-for-you plate, but I'm worried about fighting for space on the board. So I'm just going to go plateless to show how this works. Going to go against Keith Lee. Class disadvantage, and he's strapped up. This is the best we can do in terms of a road opponent. And uh, let's see how Tatanka plays. All right, so he has one turn countdown gems, meaning we can make a three match, set ourselves up for a five. And I have Zombie Dominic on just in case you don't have a favorable board. So you can give yourself all eight gems if you need it. Neckbreaker, bottom row is safety for me. Swipe into your five match. Now you can put these out again. But you are going to cover up three of them, so I'll wait. I mean, we're going to pin him and he's going to stay down because it's a five star. But the stacking is not nearly as straightforward because you will overlap. Uh, but over two mil, turn one with the double MP trainers. Of course, feed line bonuses you could probably use. Matt, if you have him. Uh, the new tech Lex is plus two blue MP and a multi-strength, so worth using him as well. Let's go set up another build. Next build we're going to take a look at is available at four star. We are bringing in two of the black moves and red two. Black one is the leaping shoulder block, four MP. Deal 73,717 damage. And choose a two by one area to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will make 10 random gems into color turn gems on every countdown turn. 
and make 18 color turn gems into black gems at the end of the countdown. Black 2, the Pendulum Backbreaker, 7 MP. Deal 101,626 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for one turn. And Red 2, the Vertical Chop, 1 MP. Deal 44,027 damage and increase your black MP by 4. Entourage for this, we're going to use Woods for black MP. Dude Love for 35% more damage to our black gems. Come to think of it, could probably go with um, the color turn. believe that is Tech Shamrock. For 100% more damage, that'll help. Look at me on the fly. Uh, so Tech Shamrock, 100%. Hall of Fame Brett for 50%. Because they, they well exceed the black gem damage trainers. I do have Boogeyman on here because that's what I got. Allow me to update the graphic for you on the fly. For the belt, sticking with the Fury 2s and bringing in the Viper Strike Plate. Whenever you break three or more black gems, make seven yellow into red at the end of your turn. A lot of people look and they say, two black moves, use a drip plate. Or you're making black gems, use a taker plate, use a foley plate, use a this plate, that plate, anything that blows up the board. With this build, you're really fighting for space on the board, so multiply gems don't really fit here. Computer noises. Um, so I'm going to be using the Viper Strike just to, after all is said and done, to hopefully just break more gems, do more damage. Um, drip plate, not working here, as evidenced by the logo on the top right of your screen. So we should be able to get this move out twice. Vertical chop. Get this out again. And hit the stun move. I'm going to take a black match here because I can hit this one MP to hit the stun move again. See, and this is what I mean about not being able to use the drip plate. There's there's not enough space for it. You're not going to be converting those gems into black. Like, even with the, the 2 by one of Juggernauts, you're running out of room. do that and it's a one turn stun so we'll stun him we'll pin him and then he'll be able to hit but again five star gold opponent not gonna do much viper strike didn't hit anything but just about two million damage black is his secondary color that is what he's got available at four star let's go set up another build Next build we're going to take a look at is available at 5 star. We are bringing back the Power Slam, bringing back the Neck Breaker, bringing in Blue 3, which is the 5 star move, the Diving Chop, 8 MP. Deal 75,303 damage and make 24 Multiply Gems into Red Gems. Entourage for this, Butch for Red MP. I still have my preview um, Tech Lex, so we're going to use him. Blue moves start with two more move points, and multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one. Hall of Fame Snoop for red and blue gem damage. And bringing back Zombie Dominic, because it is kind of board dependent, I'd like to secure the 5-3 match if I can, so he will give me eight gems. For the belt, again, I'm not using a plate. We're doing a standard set of Fury 2s. This would be the Hogan plate build, I think. In my somewhat expert opinion, whenever you break 20 gems, increase your red gem damage by 200% for two turns. The problem with it, and why I'm not using it, is we don't have a 6-star. Um, and trying to do the survival matches, I can't accurately show how it's going to look. It's not going to stack. He's not going to kick out. So I'm going plateless for now, but that would be my plate recommendation. And um, let's see how, how well we can do without it.
So seven, five, and eight means turn two, baby. For an acrobat, I feel like he has really high char charge moves, which is odd as well. But we'll put out our countdowns. We'll make our five and our three match. Let's just put that there. That's fine. Uh, so 22k. Lex makes these times six, so 138. Or 136, pardon me. 24 multiply into red. We got most of them. That's the hardest we've hit so far is 3.9. So a six star will likely kick out of that. Hogan plate will stack it, add 200% red jam damage. That will definitely be the way to go with this build. One more build I want to take a look at. Let's go set that up. Last build we're going to take a look at is available at six star. It is triple black. We've seen the Leaping Shoulder Block. We've seen the Pendulum Backbreaker. We are bringing in the Knife Edged Chop 6 MP. Deal 84,436 damage and increase your Black Gem damage by 75% for two turns. Does not affect bonus damage. Once again, really fighting for board space here. So no Drip Plate, no problem. Uh, going to be using Striker Woods for Black MP. Alundra for plus two on a match. Hall of Fame Brett for 50% more color turn damage. Elias for plus one on a match because that is the only way to adequately keep a stun lock. Um, no plate, Fury 2s. Let's see how this works. All right, we got our black match, which is what we wanted. He's going to get one chance here, and then hopefully we can just keep um, swiping black to get stun loaded. 44k on our black gems. And then we can stagger the juggernauts. So one batch will put out color turns, the other batch will convert. And then we can keep stunning. And then we can keep stacking. And naturally we, you know, have nothing to swipe here, so. Two point eight. That is my best attempt. I will take it. I will take it. Let's wrap things up. That concludes our first look at Tatanka War Eagle. Again, new gen acrobat for those of you that don't have acro snoop. He will fill a roster void. Trainer ability at 26k. Yellow submission moves do 100% more damage per turn, and yellow moves start with two more move points. Link's Million Dollar Corporation receives 60% less damage from green gems. New gen gems do 10% more damage. Just the one set of gear. And uh, I'm going to be straight with y'all. Acro Snoop is better. You chase Tatanka for the trainer and to have a new gen acro if you don't have Snoop. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Hit me up on the Discord. What kind of builds would you run? I do think, on a positive note, I do think the um, the five-star build, the power slam, the neck breaker, the diving chop with the Hogan plate will put up really strong numbers. It's just, it sucks that I don't have anybody to preview that against to really show his strength. I do think that is a really good build. I don't think he's an absolute crap card. That is, that is a strong build for him. Um, but if you don't have the Hogan plate, might be a little tough, but I'm curious to know what you think of him. Let me know in the comments of this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.